Hello guys, in this video we'll be taking a look at the Autosomo DNA predicted phenotype traits and GED match results of a Neanderthal from El Cidron Cave in uh, Spain. He is dated according to carbon dating and soil samples. He is dated to have uh, inhabited Spain 49,000 years before us. And what's interesting about this individual is that his Y chromosome had never been identified before. And it's funny, I actually discovered that while I was making this video because I was trying to figure out his haplogroup, uh, his Y DNA with Y sec, and Y sec was just not giving him any Y DNA. It's determining that it's a man, he's got Y chromosome, but he doesn't have any of the markers associated with any human uh, Y DNA haplogroups, which is pretty interesting. And uh, this is what I think he looked like based on my tools for phenotype prediction. He's predicted to have dark brown eyes, Greek or snub shaped nose, and the black hair. He's also predicted to have a uh, sub-Saharan African eye shape. And for hair shape, his file was not the highest quality. So I'm not going to include this result here. But for hair shape, he is predicted to have curly hair. That's why I depicted him with curly hair here. But uh, once again, not the highest quality prediction because uh, it's a very small file. The file is only 4 megabytes. He does not have any light color variants anywhere. Actually, on the screen, I listed all of the variants that have to do with coloring and he does not have any light variants he does not have any light pigmentation variants in any of the variations that he was genotyped for uh, does not have BH2 or BH3 or BH4 I missed that one we can also reasonably assume he does not have BH1 definitely a very dark colored individual he's got this rare genotype that predisposes him to familiar hypertrophic cardiomyopathy and it is a heart condition characterized by thickening of the heart muscle. When multiple members of a family have this condition, it is known as familiar hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So he's got uh, a genotype that predisposes him to this trait. Very interesting stuff. He seems to have a lot of genotypes that predispose to various heart disease, heart issues. You will find this if you explore him on um, code gen. Yeah, code gen. I'm just getting a brain freeze he's got also this genotype for hypertension which is high blood pressure once again some heart issues he's got a lot of genotypes for various heart issue issues and he's got this genotype for decreased risk of autism very interesting stuff uh, also I checked his file he does not have any of the uh, albinism mutations in humans so if you want to if you want to make the claim that uh, Neanderthals or this Neanderthal in particular had some kind of a mutation that's super rare in modern humans that leads to light pigmentation that would be the albinism mutations and he doesn't have any of them so we have no reason to assume he was uh, light pigment he had light pigmentation uh, he's got this genotype for better performing muscles likely sprinter rather than endurance uh, this is actually one of the uh, one of the SNPs that you will find if you've taken a 23andMe in their traits page. Uh, it's from 23andMe. And he is a warrior in Compt, uh, which means um, quicker dopamine reuptake, less dopamine in the system, and uh, problems with attention and motivation. However, advantages in stress resiliency. Now, moving on to polygenic traits, he's got a high risk score for IBD. Uh, he's got a low risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, he's got a super high risk score for stomach cancer. Uh, he's got a uh, average risk score for lung cancer. He's got a uh, pretty low risk score for Alzheimer's. Um, he's got a low risk score for Parkinson's. And he's got a pretty low risk score for vitiligo. Now moving on to his GED match results. This is what he scores with Eurogenes K13. Mostly Sub-Saharan African followed by Northeast African. This is very typical for any Neanderthal or actually even non-human. Even a gorilla or chimp or various monkeys. They tend to score mostly Sub-Saharan African with this calculator and all of the other calculators as well. Uh, if you've seen the other stuff I've covered on my channel such as gorillas, chimps. Uh, I've actually made two gorilla videos at this point. You will see that it's very typical for them to score mostly sub-Saharan African. And with G25, we see that this individual is closest to Juhuan people. This Neanderthal individual, which, by the way, you can download the G25 simulation uh, from link from the description. And he is closest to Juhuan people and uh, San people from South Africa, basically South African hunter-gatherers. And for the ancient samples, he's most similar to uh, various... South African hunter-gatherers once again. 
this is what he scores with MDL PK16 and I'm showing you these results because there is a little bit of an agenda that I want to push here. You see this ancestor component, it was made to represent Neanderthal or Denisovan specific drift that's, that's found in Eurasians. But ironically, this is actually the biggest component that is scored by various South African hunter-gatherers and this is why you see with the oracle here, this individual is actually closest to Homani from South Africa, followed by Pygmies, followed by Juhuan people. So as you can see, this component that was originally meant to represent non-homo sapien uh, hominids is actually peaking in South African hunter-gatherers. And because of this, this Neanderthal is actually getting modeled as a mixture of Juhuan plus African-American. Very interesting stuff. This is what he scores with MDLPK23B and you see with these MDLP calculators it seems that there is almost some kind of a climb from gorillas, chimpanzees, orangutans to um, South African hunter-gatherers and it seems that Neanderthals and Denisovans fall in the middle, fall between those two extremes. What I mean by that is for example gorilla, chimpanzee, orangutan, they score 98% archaic human and the rest is just kind of nothing, nothing else, pretty much entirely archaic human. Whereas uh, a South African hunter-gatherer, some kind of Hoisan individual, is going to score mostly archaic African, right? And a little bit of other, like Sub-Saharan African or maybe archaic human components, whereas a Neanderthal is scoring a mixture of archaic human and archaic African. So it almost looks like a, a Neanderthal is a mixture of basically a monkey plus a South African hunter-gatherer. This is what it's looking like to me if you just look at these... Um, MDLPK results and actually I've, I'm, I'm seeing the same pattern with my own calculator that I've made for Neanderthals and monkeys and in, in, in gorillas. So it's, it's a very interesting pattern that I'm observing. Um, I don't really have an explanation for this. Obviously a gorilla and a human cannot mate. So why this pattern is a thing, I don't know. Out of all the African groups, it seems that this individual is most similar to Sun. He's scoring mostly Sun with Africa 9 and with various Ephiohelix calculators. You see the same pattern, mostly scoring Sun and actually a little bit of Pygmy too. You see Biaka and Mbuti are both Pygmy groups and he's not scoring much West African. Uh, this individual is really, and Neanderthals in general, are really not all that similar to West Africans uh, and actually even South African hunter-gatherers are not all that similar to West Africans. They're pretty different. Like, I'm not sure whether West Africans are closer to uh, non-African non groups than they are to South African hunter-gatherers. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I do know that South African hunter-gatherers are super different from um, West Africans in terms of ancestry, in terms of DNA. Uh, with Gidrosia K3, he is scoring mostly South Sub-Saharan African, and with Eurogenes K36, mostly scoring Pygmy, but that's only because on Eurogenes K36 there is no category for uh, Hoi San people who are South African hunter. There is no South African hunter-gatherer category here, so the closest to it is Pygmy. I did a quick comparison between this individual and various other creatures and uh, the metric we really want to look at here is non-equal genotypes and it seems to be most similar to uh, Cotes Neanderthal which you can see on my channel, I've made a video on her and uh, followed by Cotes Neanderthal it is Gorilla followed by Vila Gorilla which is also on my channel followed by the Gorilla it is uh, actually it seems to be Baboon or uh, orangutan. I can't really make out the numbers. I was doing the screenshot in paint and paint messed it up. So it's either baboon or orangutan that follows gorilla uh, and they're pretty much tied for last place. Thanks for watching my video until the end. You can download this genome in 23 and me format from link which is in the description. And um, <clears throat> thanks for watching. Goodbye.